So just real quick, um, let me clear that out. Hey, what's up? I was talking with a friend, showing him my YouTube videos, and he made this really good point. He was like, no one on the internet is who you are. And uh, yet, yeah, I guess depending on when you watch this, I mean, I'm probably famous by now. Uh, anyways, real quick. So before we get started, I just want to say your family actually hates you. I know, right? They totally do. If they did not hate you, they would subscribe to your channel. Uh, if you're not a family member, that's cool. You get a pass. Uh, just keep watching the content. You'll probably love it eventually. It's like, I don't know, beer. Like it, it's really crappy. You're drinking poison. And all of a sudden, you're like, mmm, good. Uh, <laughs> but, anyways, so that's that. Your family hates you, or else they're, oh, they're subscribed. So, like, yeah, I don't know. No guilt, guilt trip. No, no, no guilt trip at all, right there. Yeah, no, no, not at all. Anyways, basically, what I want to do is just go ahead and talk about like, who I was. And let people know why you should give two craps what I have to say about my opinion. I'm like anyone else on, you know, Joe Schmuckatelli. Basically, I was in the Marine Corps for nine years, active duty. Uh, before that, I was a complete menace to society. So, and when I mean menace to society, I mean I was just a non-productive human being. Joined the Marine Corps out of Tennessee. Left. Uh, eventually went to Iraq. Did two tours there. I was a member of the Battle of Fallujah, which is something you can Google. Um, Al Qajar, Ashar, I'll put it in the links. Anyways, um, Phantom Fury. There you go. Battle of Fallujah. So, after that, after the first tour to Iraq, uh, I started experiencing. I mean, I was already borderline alcoholic. And I mean, like, borderline just from being, you know, a Superman complex. Uh, a-hole, professional a-hole, Marine. When I came back from Iraq the first time, I was really stricken with, uh, I guess you could call it PTSD now. Really, I think PTSD is just over-specialization. And we can talk about that later. However, I really manifested, it, it manifested in me as just drinking a lot, which to me wasn't problematic because everyone else was drinking a lot in the Marine Corps. Then the second tour, I got arrested while in the Marine Corps, twice actually. Uh, you know, good Marine Corps, just twice. Old Corps, probably not the new Corps, they'll fight you up right away. <laughs> um, so anyways, my family was really struggling with me um, and my battle with, you know, alcoholism. I, I don't even think I was an alcoholic, I was really just masking things, because I, I drink now very casually, it's not a big deal. I go for months without drinking. I don't care. Uh, haven't had a drink tonight. I mean, I just, it's, it's a thing, right? It's like coffee. It's a thing. I'm sure some people are addicted to coffee. That's a tangent. Anyways, so I get out of the Marine Corps because of the DUI. There's a video about that. We'll figure out how to link those. Put a link in the show notes, probably. I get out of the Marine Corps because of the DUI. I got the DUI on active duty in the Marine Corps. So that was arrest number two in the Marine Corps, all right? For a total of three arrests, all right? We'll break those down some other time. It doesn't matter, it's not important right now. I get out of the Marine Corps, the DUI, zero game plan. I had a package through OCS, which is Officer Cannon School. And I really had to evaluate my life. You know, we were a young family. That was in 2012, by the way, a little good timelines. Young family, you know, wife, two kids, getting out of the Marine Corps, no plan. Um, you know, I got my DUI in December, IAS, uh, April 4th. That gives you a window. Four months. Really, I mean, when you're depressed because, you know, you fucked up, <laughs> you're dealing with DUI charges, you're dealing with Marine Corps, uh, non judicial punishment. Um, I was a staff sergeant at the time. A whole lot of stuff to deal with. Anyways, we survived. I'm still here. Right now it's 2018, October. I had to think about that real fast. It sucked, all right? It sucked. But great lessons were learned. Lives were saved. It's amazing. It only gets amazing. Um, I got out. I already had a degree in psychology. I went and did some prereqs, started my master's in theoretical computer science. Um, I'm not really that smart. I just know how to Google. And 
And then from zero to while in grad school, got a job, almost replacing my Marine Corps uh, income right away. Super important about why you should be listening to me. Because it wasn't the things I was doing, it was how I strategically targeted what I wanted to do and went after it. That is a transferable skill. You don't have to go to the Marine Corps to learn that. That's what I'm trying to teach people. It's coping with getting, you're hearing the coffee pot by the way, I'm sorry about that. It's super late right now. Um, but it's dealing with getting out of the military. Okay, let's talk about those issues. It's dealing with PTSD. Let's talk about those issues. It's, I'm also bipolar type two, which means I'm amazing 90% of the time. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about like my wife and me dealing with that. Uh, so PTSD, bipolar type two, um, not egotistical at all. And the, you know, parent of three, I work in tech. I'm a software engineer. I do computer vision with meets uh, game engines. So it's a very weird mix, very niche. All these books, read them. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about computer vision. Let's talk about game design, game theory, things like that. Uh, anime, if you want to, comment in the links. I mean, I freaking love, there we go. I love anime. Uh, it's way funner than live action, my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own. So really quick, this is a super boring video. I get it. Thank you for sticking this long. You probably haven't though. It would be like five people have seen this part, but I just really want to give a dry, not funny version of why you should give a fuck. I mean, let's be honest. Time is super critical. Uh, I've been super successful in everything I've done. I've fucked up the whole way through. Um, look at King David, if you want to, if you, if you want to take the Bible approach, King David fucked up all the time. Still amazing guy. Had heart after God, right? That's what it says. Anyways, let's talk about all these issues. This is why you should be listening. Um, comment down below if there's something you really want to talk about. I'm always open. And I prefer being really transparent. I don't think that like masking and trying to put up a front of uh, perfection or whatever is helping anybody. Like, come on. It's 2018 or later if you're watching this in the future or the past. Future? Well, it'll be the past. Anyways, um, let's just talk about those issues. I love helping people, love helping people. The hardest part of transitioning for me was going from a staff sergeant, you know, roughly depending on the size, like 12 to 24 people. Um, sometimes only four people reporting. It just varies depending on what you're doing. And going to the civilian world where no one cares, no one cares. Everyone will tell you, thank you for your service. And they want to know, how can you do the thing that everyone else can do? So if you're from the military side, and I'll try to use playlists to separate all these different topics, you have some amazing skill sets that you're not utilizing. Unfortunately, all of, not all, a good portion, a good healthy portion of the military I talk to are uh, acting like victims. And that really, really, really is sad because you are an amazing individual who has awesome skill sets that no one gives a shit about unless you show them how to give a shit about it. So basically that's what I'm about, is helping you be amazing. I am only good if I'm able to make other people better. So that's what I bring to the table. Hopefully you're still around. Let me know in the comments below if you think I suck, if you think I'm cool, if there's something you wanna talk about. Uh, I really don't give a shit if you think I suck because I know this sucks already. Uh, sorry for the bad language. It it's really late and my mechanisms are turning off. And see you around later.